start 2023 with a bang. Here's a quick one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create amazing YouTube thumbnails with AI and more specifically using Midjourney. And first of all, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, subscribe. <laughs> if you're not, you but have to subscribe. Also subscribe. So let's start 2023 with a bang. This is the year of AI. You've all tested ChatGPT. Uh, if not, go do that. Um, one of the things that AI is really good at is image generation. And one fun thing to generate is thumbnails. So I'm going to show you how to create YouTube thumbnails in a four-step process. But first, let's talk about why thumbnails are important. So thumbnail is the first thing your viewers see when they come across your videos. It's crucial to make a good one. Um, a good thumbnail can make your video stand out for the millions of other videos on YouTube and increase the chances of someone clicking on it and of course watching it. So let's start with the actual uh, AI engine and that's Midjourney. So go to Midjourney, create an account if you haven't. The uh, interface for Midjourney, at least the way I use it, is the Discord um, chat app. So join the beta, sign in um, and they'll take you through the steps uh, if, you, if you can't figure it out. All right, and step number two is find a thumbnail that you like and just take a screenshot of it. So I'm just gonna go with one of the bigger, probably the biggest YouTuber. I don't know, actually, if he is the biggest, Mr. Beast. So let's just grab, oops, I won't, I just want the, how can I do that? So I'm just gonna grab the thumbnail here. And then I want to reverse engineer the prompt. So I wanna, get a prompt that would, in theory, get us this picture. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Clip Interrogator. And Clip is this really neat tool that you can use to reverse engineer a prompt for any image that you find. So here we have the prompt for the image that uh, we screenshotted, a mass adding for a red sports car, yada, 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 a lot of metadata. Then I'm going to go to Mid Journey and uh, I'll use Mid Journey in Discord. So the command is imagine. I'm going to paste the prompt, then I'm also going to use uh, version 4 and aspect ratio 3 to 2. And let's see what we get. Okay, so this is what we got. First iteration. And we could definitely use this as some form of thumbnail if we wanted to. So here you can see how we can use this flow um, to uh, create any sort of thumbnail. If we want, we can take this picture. So let's see. Um, uh, let's say I'm going to go with the fourth one here. So let me upscale that. Something like this, which of course can be used as a thumbnail. All right, but maybe I do want to generalize this approach a little bit. And looking closer at the thumbnails, we can see that they all have something in common. Can you see what it is? It's this expressive, surprised, shocked, something face, right? Doo -doo -doo. It's all shock and awe. So I'm just gonna, for this video, try to emulate a shock and awe face. So I have a prompt for that, and I'm gonna drop it here. So I'm gonna say, imagine, and it's basically just what I said. It's YouTube thumbnail, an excited, surprised, shocked facial expression. I'm gonna throw in some multicolor, 8K. Let's do version four, and let's do also um, aspect ratio, three to two. Let's see what we get. Okay, so these are what we got. Uh, all very expressive to the extreme, one might say. Uh, I am gonna go with uh, this one. I'm gonna upscale this one. Crazy number one here. I also wanna do the same, but something more, well, less weird. <laughs> So I'm gonna say YouTube thumbnail, excited, surprise, shocked, facial expression, maybe of, of a bear. Let's try that one. <laughs> okay, I actually like the bear one. I'm gonna take this bear uh, instead. Uh, or should I go with this one? I don't know. Okay, let's do number four. Uh, upscale four. Here we have the crazy guy. This is weird. And here we have the bear, ah, a bit more funny. I'm gonna take them both, remove the background. 
Okay, so here they are, one with the bear, one with the crazy guy. I'm not gonna use the crazy guy because I don't really like how this looks. And it's it seems really weird to have a face that doesn't exist, to be honest. But the bear, ah, I kinda like. So I'm actually gonna go with the bear. And I'm gonna say AI thumbnails. And that's it, we're done for this video. Obviously you can use this workflow for any type of picture you want. Once you find something that's an inspiration, just grab that, take a clip, interrogator, reverse engineer some form of prompt, Try it out with Midjourney, go until you have what you like. And if you want to remove the background, go to remove background. And then of course you can spin anything up in Figma or any other design program. And the sky's the limit here. You can go with illustrations, logos, anything really. Your creativity sets the limits and then it's just a matter of finding the right prompts. So that's very exciting uh, when it comes to image generation of AI and a great way, uh, sorry, with AI and a great way to, to try it out if you haven't. So try making your own, I don't know, stupid or fun or whatever emotion or uh, adjective thumbnail that you like. Anyway, that's it, a quick one to start off 2023 in the spirit of AI. All right, so if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Also check out avalanlabs.co. I'll see you soon, until next time, ciao.